Hey guys, welcome back. So I picked up a few things at the Sephora VIB sale, which is like their beauty insider sale where you could get 10, 15, or 20% off of items. There were a few items that I kind of have been eyeing and wanting to pick up, so I did, and I thought I would do a little video and test them out. So the first thing that I really wanted to test out was the new Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. My really good friends, Melissa Street, Kathy Singh, and Lana Reese are Beauty Blender Pro team members. So they've been talking about the Bounce Foundation for a while now. And um, I've just been wanting to try it and see how it works. It says it's a weightless, buildable, whipped liquid that can be layered from medium to maximum coverage to address tone and texture. Never dull or greasy, skin gets that pro artist velveteen finish that looks picture perfect in real life and on screen. So that will be really cool to test. I also picked up the new Josie Marin Vibrancy Concealer. I got the shade Fair. The only thing that I didn't like about when I picked this up in store was they only had a few shades and I looked at the Fair and the Light because I'm kind of, you know, in the middle because I'm a little bit more tan now and the light was like a little bit too dark and then the fair is like really light. Like in comparison to my NARS concealer, it's very white looking. So I'm interested to test this out and see what it actually looks like on my skin. And I know everybody talks really good things about the Vibrancy Foundation, which I haven't tried yet, but I love Juicy Mirror products, so I'm interested to see what this is like. So I've already moisturized and I'm going to apply my eyebrows real quick and then we'll be right back. Okay, so brows are on. I just used the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And then now we'll move on to foundation. So like I said, this is the Beauty Blender Bounce and this is the shade 2.30. So here's my shade. This is like such a nice container actually. I love that it has like a little palette on it. Um, so you just unlock it, which is even better. And then, ooh. All right, so I did three pumps and I have my damp Beauty Blender here. Uh, let's see how it goes. So I barely got any on my beauty blender and it's like already covering quite a bit of redness, which is cool. So it seems like a little bit of foundation goes a long way. I'm gonna do half my face. That way we can see how different it looks. It looks really natural so far. Alright, so there's half my face done. Um, I'll come in a little bit closer so you can see. Um, I do have a little bit of like patchiness right now, but that's because I have eczema and my skin is kind of acting up right now. Um, it's a little bit dry and any foundation I put on right now is just going to show. But it looks really nice. Um, from far away, you're not going to be able to see that. No one's looking right up close to your face like that. But it looks really natural and it looks really nice actually. I really like it. I think it provides really great coverage. This was like, I mean, I look how much I still have left on here. Like, there's a ton. Now I'll do my other side.
Okay, so there is the foundation on. All you have to do to clean it off is just wipe your beauty blender and then it's all clean and then you just lock it on the back. So when you press down, nothing's gonna come out. So I really like this. I'll go in a little closer so you can see what it looks like. I feel like it looks really natural. It doesn't feel heavy at all. Um, it's definitely more full coverage than other foundations that I use, but it's kind of nice because I've been wanting to try out a full coverage foundation on myself, and I think that it looks really pretty and natural. Have you guys tried the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation yet? If you have, what are your thoughts? Next, my other new thing to try is the Vibrancy Concealer by Josie Marin. Like I said, I'm in Fair, and I don't really think that I need a lot of concealer because I feel like the foundation got a lot of that out so I'll just add a little bit so far I like the packaging and this is like really pretty big in comparison to like this NARS one let's see how much product you get you get um, 0.17 fluid ounces of the Josie Marin and then NARS you get 0.22 so that's interesting. It's like such a big package in comparison to how much product is in it. Um, but we'll go ahead and try. It's a nice big applicator. I feel like there's a lot of product on here, so I'll just like lightly dot it. And then I'll go back in with my beauty blender. I'm sure you can use your hands for this, but I'm already using it. Wow, actually, that looks really nice. I feel like that really covered a lot of darkness, and it really like brightened up the under eye area. Um, I really like that, actually. It's really nice. It has really good coverage under the eyes. Well, let's read the package real quick. So it's made with natural and organic ingredients, which is awesome. Cruelty free, vegan, no synthetic fragrances gluten-free, paraben-free. It says, like a cold press wellness shop that awakens your healthiest looking glow. So vibrant, so good for everyone. Argan oil, blueberry extract, and fresh pigments lift and brighten the look of skin. Full long wear coverage with a natural finish. It's good for all skin types and gentle on sensitive skin. I would agree with that. I definitely feel like it brightens up my face and it opened up like my eye area makes me look a little bit more awake. Um, I definitely like that. I will have to keep testing that, but so far, it, I think it looks really nice. So now I'm gonna go in and set my face with the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. I really, really like this powder. I read that it has like diamond powder in it. Oh, fancy. You had me a diamond. But it's supposed to help, you know, brighten the skin and it has like a really nice finish and gives you a really natural glow which I definitely can see that. I really feel like it helps to minimize shine, but it keeps you glowy, so that's nice. So this is something that, you know, if you have like your Sephora insider points, it would be great to get, you know, at a slightly discounted price, because I know it is expensive. Makeup is so expensive. Trust me, I know. Okay, so I'm all powdered now, and I really like what the powder did for that. It just set it down a little bit, for bronzer. Isn't it so beautiful? Look at that bronzer. Okay, so I just take a little bit on my brush. Okay, bronzer's on. Next I'm going in with my blush. And today I'm gonna to use this Tom Ford one that I've had for a while. Um, it's number three, Flush. It's really pretty. A friend of mine gave it to me. She was doing a photo shoot and needed someone to come fill in real quick. And then she just gave me a bunch of products and this was one of them. And I actually really, really like the color. Okay, so a little bit goes a long way with that blush. It's probably gonna last forever. So next I'm gonna go in with highlight. I'm using the Anastasia Aurora Glow Kit. And let's see what color. I'm gonna go with Eclipse up here. I don't have this shade Lyra because it fell out a couple months ago and then completely shattered all of the floor. So that was awesome. And I really liked that shade too. It had like a really great sparkle. Um, but anyways, I'm going in with Eclipse just really lightly. 
highlight my face. And just give us a really nice sheen. But I don't go too heavy with it. Um, I just really like a little bit of sparkle on. So now that my face is done and set, um, I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna do a little bit of bronzer um, on my eyelid just for like a few tiny bit of color. I'm not doing like a heavy eye look. I just wanted to put a little bit on. I'm gonna go in with the Soft Glam palette. I've actually only barely used this. I've had it for a little while, but we'll use it today. I'm gonna go in with Tempera, this light shade here. And just put it in the inner corners. So now we're going to go in with a little bit of rustic down here and another like blending brush. Then I'm going to take a little bit and go underneath the eye again. Okay, now I'm going to go in with Cypress Umber, which is this dark brown shade here. And I'm just going to do it right on the outer corner right here. I'm going to go in with bronze up here, which is a nice little sparkly color. And this is a Marc Jacobs Ultra Skinny Fine Liner. It's a gel eye crayon. I kind of wanted this for like an upcoming party that I'm going to, and for a premiere of a music video that I worked on. And I wanted to get a black eyeliner that's gonna stay put. I'm gonna take it just underneath my lashes to make them a little bit more full. Be really long wearing so I'm interested to see if that's true. I used to use Marc Jacobs handbags like he had the Marc by Marc Jacobs at Nordstrom and I have like three of those bags because I was like I saw him one day walking through Nordstrom and they had like a light mint color and I saw it and I literally stopped and called my dad and I was like dad oh my god I need this purse uh, and so we bought it. Actually, that's not true. I didn't buy it right then and there. I took a photo of it and I waited and my rule that I try to stick to is if like I can't stop thinking about it, then I have to buy it. <laughs> Which is so silly and obviously I'm a shopaholic. I waited like a couple weeks and it ended up going on sale so I got it for like half the price of what it would be. So I justified it and I was like, okay, that makes sense. That is totally fine. And um, I actually think I'm gonna go just like a tiny bit on the upper lash line. I also went in with this black shade here, Noir, with this tiny angled brush just to blend out um, 
the liner a little bit and kind of give myself like a tiny little tiny wing. And now I'm going to go in and do the other eye. I have very round eyes, so um, I feel like, I always feel like eyeliner looks so weird on me. Maybe it doesn't, I don't know, maybe it does. that it took a little bit longer than I wanted but I always feel like my eyes look really odd with eyeliner on so one of the other things that I bought was the Surat lash curler the one I regularly use is the Charlotte Tilbury one which I've had for like five years I think and it's starting to get where I have to press really really hard to get any curl out of it like I think the like spring in it or whatever like piece is holding it together is just getting old and it's not really working as nicely but I love that eyelash curler it's very round for my very round eyes but I bought this Surratt one and look at this cute bag it comes in I really like that and it's all black like everything I wear it looks really nice it's really like cool looking it's really flat actually you can see that it's like super flat in comparison to the Charlotte Tilbury one I don't know if you can even see Maybe a better view is like this. Charlotte Tilbury one's very round. This is more flat. They both open up about the same amount. So let's give this guy a try. Ooh, Ooh right off the bat, it's a really like hard clamp. It's a very hard clamp and I feel like I have to get really close to my eye because it's more flat and I feel like I'm not like getting it right. But it does give a really nice curl actually. It just takes some time to get used to it but if you can see like just right away like my eyelashes curled versus not curled and I'm gonna have to take this little this little doodad off um, so now I'm gonna do my other eye I feel like the other one's curled good enough yeah it might just take some time getting used to I mean curling your eyelashes in general takes some time getting used to so We'll see. Ooh, made my eyes water on that one. Okay, so both sides are curled. Now I'm gonna go in my mascara. Same one, Caution Hourglass. This is definitely something you should pick up at the Sephora VIB sale. It's totally worth it. This is like the best mascara I've tried. Um, besides the Too Faced one, which you could also pick up there, but this one's my favorite mascara I've ever used. So there's one coat on, going in for a second. Okay, there's the eyes fully done, and then now I'm gonna go in with one of my new Bite lip crayons. Um, I got two shades, Leche and Sucre. So Leche is like a beautiful nude color. I'll show you a little. It's like a nude pink color, which is really pretty. And then Sucre is this beautiful color here. Ooh, I really like that. It's so summery. I really like that. Mm, I 
think that's what I'm gonna do today. Mm, but this one's so pretty too. Oh, what do I do? Um, why don't I just do both? I'll do leche first, and then I'll wipe it off, and then I'll do the other one. So, Bye.